Welcome back. Hi, I'm Steve6464. Welcome to the finished product of our last 12 episodes. Let's uh, let's build this. No dipping around the curve. And this is the finished video. If you're wondering why I have this dog Russian nesting down here, it's to um, poke a little bit at Dave McKeegan. He, uh, a few days ago on August 2nd, posted a, a, a similar video. I emailed him to um, kind of poke him a bit about it and he encouraged me to, to finish up and to help him out with something. I'll explain that um, I'll explain that later. So for now let's relax and enjoy the video. Thank you. Just a note, I am sorry there are a few spelling errors especially in the uh, in this first opening uh, video. But otherwise please enjoy. In their misunderstanding of the globe, this might be why. Flirts are so insistent that planes need to dip their noses to fly around the globe. Flirts might be afraid that the planes will fly off into space and be blown up by space aliens. So, space is fake because NASA forgot to put stars in their photos. My images have stars in them. Does that make them real? And I'm only using off-the-shelf consumer software. But NASA, with their budget, endless resources, and the U.S. government, looking over their shoulders, forgot to add stars? Really? Does that make any sense? Okay, let's get back to no dipping around the curve. Remember my intro? I mentioned a creator, Dave McKeegan. You know who, the guy with the good dog. So, as I was finishing up this video, Dave McKeegan uploaded this video. Flat Earthers think planes can't work on a globe. Links for the video and Dave's channel are in the description. All in good fun, I emailed Dave, letting him know how he beat me to the punch. All in good fun, Dave emailed me back, apologized, and encouraged me to finish this video. He also asked me to correct an error he had made. I'm just going to read Dave's correction verbatim. You can even correct an error I made if you like. Seems from the comments that my understanding of aerial foil effect is actually a common misconception. Because the lift is generated from the pitch of the wing, forcing air in one direction and resulting opposing forces moving the wing in the other direction, not so much from the reduction in air pressure. I'm not going to get all that sciency, just going to try and explain it simply. For the sciency stuff, see Dave's video, or Woofy6020, or Bob the Science Guy. They are both pilots. Links in the description. First, Let's have a look at how planes fly on a flat earth. Our plane takes off. Our plane likes to fly in the fifth row of the atmosphere. It climbs until it reaches the fifth row. There's a force that acts on it, making it rise to the sixth row of the atmosphere. There's not enough air pressure in the sixth row of the atmosphere. The plane loses lift and drops in altitude. If our plane keeps losing altitude, then it will drop to the fourth row of atmosphere. The fourth row of atmosphere, the air pressure is heavier and our plane rises back to the fifth row. This up and down will keep happening until the pilot trims the plane. Once the plane is trimmed, it will stay in the fifth row of atmosphere. And then our plane finally lands. Now let's look at how planes fly on a globe Earth. Our plane takes off again. And as before, our plane likes to fly in the fifth row of the atmosphere. It climbs until it reaches the fifth row. Like before, our plane rises and falls. This might be easier to see in the insert on the upper left. And as before, our plane rises and falls until the pilot trims the plane. Once it is trimmed, it will stay in the fifth row of the atmosphere. 
and then it finally lands. Let's have a final look at something in Polzer, the animation software. So hi again, here we are, um, we're back in, in Polzer, and if you've been following along with me in the live stream, you know this is um, animate the program that I make the animations in. I just want to uh, quickly show you something here. If you notice here, you probably see it on the left a little bigger. This is the dial that will make our banshee, our plane, our nose to dip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance one frame at a time and I want you to tell me if you ever see this number change and to dip down it will be negative. Okay? Frame one. I'm only going to do like the first 90. Frame two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 63, miss that one, 70, 80, 89, 90. Here on the screen it's perpendicular, but as you can see our Z rotation is still zero. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, be safe, and be a friend to someone who needs a friend. All I have to say is Look! An echo chamber of derp. Derp 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 derp. Derp 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 derp. Derp, 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 der